Hi guys, it's a girl Lily Boats and back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the thumbnail, we are going to sew an underbust, an underbust basque dress. As you can see, so guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. So we begin with, I'm going to measure from my shoulder to my bust 10 inches. I'm going to measure it across 10 inches across to get my bust. Then after I'm going to measure from my shoulder to under bust, which is 14 inches. As you can see me doing, I'm marking 14, 14 inches. Sorry, from my shoulder to my under bust. Then from my shoulder to my waist is 16 inches. As you can see me doing. And after that, I'm going to square them out, or I'm going to rule them out, as shown. So now after doing that, I'm going to mark from my waist to my hip, which is 9 inches. As you can see me doing, I'm marking 9 inches from my waist to my hip. So now I'm going to label them here, my waist, my under bust, and my bust. So now I'm going to measure 1.5 inches above my bust line to get my chest line. So 1.5 inches. Some some others they are from their bust to get from their bust to their chest line is 2 inches. But mine is 1.5 inches. And I'm labeling chest line. So from there, I'm going to mark my shoulder line. My shoulder line, I'm going to measure my cross back divided by 2, which gave me 7, and came down by 1 inch to get my shoulder slope. And also, so I took my neck width at 3 inches, and my neck depth downwards 4 inches. So as you can see me doing, I've marked my shoulder, and I'm curving my neck, as you can see. So I'm going to use my shoulder measurement on my chest measurement to get a straight line to, to draw out my armhole. So now to get my armhole, I'll go to my chest and measure my bust measurement divided by 4. And also divide from that point to my chest line. Divide it into 2 and come in from that point. I'll come in by half an inch. I'm going to join this point together as you can see me doing. So now I'm done holding my arm hole. Now I'm going to measure my bust span. My bust span divided by two gives me three and a half inches. So I'm going to mark it from my bust to my hip line. And after I squared it out, I read it out. So after that, I'm going to my waistline and mark half an inch on both sides. And I came down from my bust midpoint one inches downwards. And I read it out, as you can see me doing. And I took it downwards to my hip. As you can see so now after that I'm going to take my cap you can see from the design I'm going to take my cap and I came upwards half an inch from my bust upwards half an inch and I went to my half an inch then after I'm going to join the point to my under bust I'm going to join the point to my under bust to get the side cap, I'm going to measure from my bust to my under bust. The inches I get, I'm going to measure it from my bust point. So I had four inches. I add half inch of allowance to it, making four and half. And that side, so I'm going to come up by half an inch, as you saw me do. I'm going to rule it out. As you can see, 
yeah so now we are done with that we are going to bring out we're going to mark out our measurements so my bus divided by four eight and a half and added one and a half inch of allowance so now i came to my waist my waist divided by four and my that measurement i'm going to pay that other side to one inch and other one and a half inch of allowance to it came to my hip you divided by four added one and a half inch of allowance and after i rolled it out guys sorry for my frog voice the weather is not good for me <laughs> yep so now from the picture i can see the front side is like a bus cube so I'm going to come down from the hip measurement 4 inches and roll it from the tip of my hip to that side as you can see me doing. Yep. So now we are done. Done, done, done. So let's I forget. We are going to measure a shoulder and divide it by 2 because from the and from the picture we saw that there's a little bit of gathering at the at the cup side so to get the gathering i'm going to divide our shoulder by two and split it out so that is what i've drawn now i'm going to cut it watch it so carefully so that i don't want to cut any wrong thing watch me so carefully As I cut it out, I'm going to cut my waist. That is my waist. Cut it out. And I'm going to cut my cup. Guys, watch me so, so carefully. As you can see me doing. Watch me so, so carefully. So you don't make any mistake. Whilst cutting your pattern. So now I don't want my dart. I don't want to stitch my dart to my fabric. So I'm going to close it. And cut my fabric out, but still there'll be that since about there's no that I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, so that would be my yoke. My yoke, the fa the fabric, the picture on my table. You can see that it's white. The top side is white, but I'm going to use black for my yoke. Yeah, and my sleeves to be black. So now we are going to the back. The back is like the front, but the only difference is I'm going to I'm marking one and a half inch as my zipper allowance, as you can see me doing. I'm marking one and a half inch as my zipper allowance. And after that, I'm going to take out my measurement from my shoulder to my bust, from my bust. To my under bust, from my under bust to my waist, from my waist to my hip, as you can see me doing. Yeah. I'm coming up by one and a half inch as my chest line from my bust. Watch it carefully. So, guys, always watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos to your family, your friends, everybody. And I'll be so grateful.
so my neck that I came down by two inches my neck that I came down by two inches <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to turn the camera and roll out the neck I'm doing my shoulders look I'm done taking out my armhole. I measure my left hand. As you can see me doing. I'm ruling it out. So my chest line, my bust, my bust, my waist, and my hip. I'm going to come out by half an inch on my waist like to get my butt measurements. So for my bust, as I did for the front, I want to come out by half an inch. To get my yoke, it's come up by half an inch to get my yoke. So I'm taking my measurement and adding one and a half inch of allowance. So my measurement. So guys, this is the part I realized that I was filming. My cam, my camera went off. That's my phone went. I didn't know so I had already done it. So the back too has a bascule um effect. So I came down by four inches as you can see I've done it, ruled it out and also when you get to the waist measure the waistline I I went in by half of an inch to bring out every bulk when um I fixed my zipper there so that it doesn't create that kind of bulkiness at my back when I fix the zipper so guys that is it I'm cutting my pattern out watch it so quickly so you don't make any mistake So now I'm going to I'm going to cut my waist. I'm going to divide my waist. I'm cutting out the bulginess at the back. I don't mind my second paper. This is a trash. So now they have an inch I wood from the bus point. I'm cutting it out. That's to be my yoke. And as I said from the beginning, I don't want the that to be in the fabric. So I have closed it, but there is still that in it. So now I am done, I am done, I am done with my pattern. I am done. So that's my back pattern. And this is my front. I know some people will be saying this piece is so 
is a lot and they don't understand but i promise you guys i'm going to solve with you guys in my next video